first of all, write your name. So, Mrs. Cordell. Um, I'm doing it straight in black pen because I want you to be able to see it. Okay, so for the Mrs., I'm going to use the female symbol. So I'm not going to spend too long just drawing it at this stage because I want to draw it in more detail once I've got it onto my uh, cartouche, which is that oval shape. So give us some long hair. Okay. There we go. Right. Now, the crossing out. So I've got a double letter here, which you don't hear. So I'm going to cross one out. And I've got a double there. Cross that out. So my W, w uh, if I look at this, W, wind. So that's the same sound. So I've got this sort of fattish chicken. <laughs> so, or beagle, I suppose it is. But anyway, here we go. So I quickly draw that. Legs coming out. Little eye. Little beak. Okay, so we've got that. So I've got the W. Now the A. And we'll go for the At. A. W. Okay, so it's, a, it's another bird for me. Um, this one seems to have slightly longer tail feathers. So we'll try and put that in. Okay, so that's my A. Ah. Now the D sound. Looking quite for D, dragon, D, yeah. So it's uh, a hand shape. Fingers, like thumb coming along the end. And then L sounds like one word. Um, so L. Is it the lion sound? No, I don't think it is. That's a L. L. I'm just looking through. Okay, it's the L, elf. Do you think? Or is it, you know, it's not the eagle. Yeah, let's see what else it could be. I think I might have to. L line, L. Yeah. I might have to do it as two parts actually, looking at it. So I think I'll do the E uh, for the elf, which is a feather. Okay. Okay. And then I'll have to do the L for lion out there. So let's draw him in. Move him down here so you can see. So, a bit of a, track, uh, a line coming in here. And his back legs. And tail coming up. Okay, so there I've got my symbols that I want to put in. And, and now the nice bit is how you're going to arrange these into your cartouche. So if you remember, the cartouche is an oval sort of shape. You can do this on the same page if you want to. Or you can do it onto a new sheet if you want to draw it a little larger. So I just did the basic to begin with. And then if you remember in the video, they said it didn't have to go run in sort of any order across or down. They placed it so that it looked good. So I think I'll put the woman at the top okay so she's at the top with her black hair and my camera goes a bit wobbly uh, then I'll have the uh, shorter birds with shorter feathers Then I think I'll put that bigger eagle. These longer tail feathers. Okay, I think the hand would look quite good in the middle there.
maybe the feather and then the line at the bottom. basic arrangement now and now you can make it look a little bit more fancy so you see with the cartouches often they have this sort of uh, rope effect at the bottom uh, it can be a double rim going all the way around okay and then they have this sort of box shape at the bottom and from there on if we've got time you can Add a few more decorative details. You could colour that in. I won't do that because it kind of really goes well. Where you be getting seasick, really? Okay, I'll do a little bit. All right, you can even do a bit at the top. Circle. You can make this a double line, etc. Okay, so there's my cartouche with me trying to spell out um, Mrs. Waddell.